Namaste, a very warm welcome to all of you for Mahabharata series, Paintings with Story Narration, 6th episode. So far in the story, the children of Kauravas and Pandavas are growing. These two are the key words in Mahabharata, Kauravas and Pandavas. Let's see what happens in today's episode. Over to the episode. Due to the incident which happened with uh, Sage Kindama, Pandu transferred the responsibility of the kingdom to his elder brother Dhritarashtra and started to live in the forest with his family. So in the painting you could see Pandu, Kunti and Madri with their five children. They started living in the forest happily. This is depicted in the painting that even though they did not have the kingdom, luxury and all those things, they started uh, leading a happy life uh, with whatever they had and uh, they have transformed themselves uh, into a spiritual uh, mode. When Pandu settled down at the forest with his family, this said at Astinapur, Dhritarashtra became the king and Dhritarashtra and Gandhari gave a birth to Duryodhana. Remember the important thing in this is, even though it is the first baby for Dhritarashtra and Gandhari, it is not the first baby for Kuru dynasty. The first baby for Kuru dynasty is Yudhishthira. In future, if the new king has to be chosen, the person, the priority to be given is only Yudhishthira. This painting depicts Duryodhana takes birth to Dhritarashtra and Gandhari at Hastinapur palace where it was a royal life compared to Pandavas where all Pandavas taken birth at the forest where they struggled for the shelter, food and everything. But that is not the case with Duryodhana. He taken birth of the royal family, lived a royal life, so, so and so forth. This picture depicts the more of a royal atmosphere when Duryodhana born. During uh, Pandu's stay at the forest, once he got attracted by the beauty of Madri, Pandu wanted to get into romance with, with her and immediately embraced her. So immediately he died due to the curse from Rishi Kindama. Madri sorrowed uh, by, by this and gave uh, sacrificed her life with uh, Pandu's dead body. Now, now Kunti has become the mother for all the five children of Pandu. There was a tradition in India when husband uh, dies, when uh, dead body is buried in the fire, immediately the wife uh, also get into the fire and sacrifice herse herself. This system was there in the past. This system is called Sahagamana. So in this uh, story, Madri also followed the same thing. In this painting, Madri and Pandu are trying to get into a romantic uh, mood with a beautiful nature surrounded with them. Dhritarashtra, Bhishma and Vidura came to know about the demise of Pandu and Madri. They decided to get Kunti and her all five children to Astinapur. Accordingly, Vidura arranged a chariot to bring Kunti and all her five children back to Astinapur. With this plan, Kunti with her all five children reached back to Astinapur palace. 
This picture depicts where Kunti and all her five children came back from the forest. Dhritarashtra, Gandhari, Bhishma and Vidura are welcoming them to the palace. Once uh, all five children of Pandu have reached Astinapur, Vidura takes them to Kuluguru Kupacharya for their education. So this picture depicts Vidura who is also the minister of uh, Hastinapur and uh, Hastinapur and he happens to be uncle for uh, these five children taking the children for their further and formal education to Krupacharya's ashram. In Mahabharata, there is important parallel story of Lord Sri Krishna. This story begins with Mathura, where both his father and mother are from. Let me start about Mathura and background. A king by name Ugrasena was living in Mathura. He had a son by name Kamsa and a daughter by name Devaki. Kamsa was brave but a hypocrite. He comes from a demon background. Ugrasena had a minister by name Vasudeva. Kamsa having the desire to ascend the throne, he arrests his own father Ugrasena and put his father in the prison and became the king. This painting depicts where Kamsa is sending his father to the prison and to become the king for Mathura. Now the king Kamsa arranges his sister Devaki's marriage with his minister Vasudeva. Vasudeva was already married to Revati, but with the scare of what he had uh, with uh, Kamsa, he was forced to marry Devaki. This painting depicts Vasudeva and Devaki's wedding in front of Kamsa. After the marriage, Kamsa made an arrangement to send his sister Devaki to her husband's house. When a sage comes across the chariot and says Kamsa that he will be killed by the baby born to this couple. This painting depicts when Devaki and uh, Devaki and Vasudeva are about to leave from their from Kamsa's uh, palace to Vasudeva's house to a chariot, a sage comes and informs about Kamsa's uh, angry Kamsa sends Devaki and Vasudeva to the prison along with that sage. Now Kamsa thinks that he is freed from the fear of death. This picture depicts where Vasudeva and Devaki are sent to the prison by Kamsa. Kamsa kills the seven children born to Vasudeva and Devaki one after the other. Like this, they give birth to eighth child. The eighth child himself is Lord Vishnu's avatar, that is Bhagavan Sri Krishna. As soon as the child takes birth, a voice is heard and it says that this boy should be sent to Krishna's aunt's house in Gokula, where Yadava clan people are there. And a girl baby of her should be brought here. All the necessary arrangements for this would be done by the God himself. Likewise, as soon as the baby is born, the prison gods have become unconscious and the doors of the prison have opened automatically. 
This picture depicts the birth of Bhagwan Sri Krishna, Lord Krishna, in the prison, and the gods of the prison have fallen down and have become unconscious. Door got opened automatically. All this is captured in this painting. Welcome back to all of you. Hope you have enjoyed today's episode. In this story, both Kauravas and Pandavas are ready. The man who plays the pivotal role in this story, Lord Sri Krishna, he is also ready. Wow, what a great episode is this! We shall catch up again in the next episode. If someone wants the printed versions of these uh, paintings, both on canvas and both on paper, with different sizes, you can visit SwamiArts.com. There you can choose what uh, what sort of prints that you want, sir, and you can book it. You will get it over courier. Thank you so much. We'll catch up again in the next week. Shubha Mastu. If you like this video and watch the upcoming videos of our channel, kindly subscribe the channel. If you like this video and watch the upcoming videos of our channel, kindly subscribe the channel.